Hi everyone, welcome to a new After Effects tutorial. In this After Effects tutorial, I will show how to create this tube typography animation. So let's get start with a new composition. I will go with 1920 width and for the uh, height, I will go with 540. And let's call this text press order. One and I'm going with frame rate uh, 24 and duration 10 seconds. Let's hit OK. Now let's go to the uh, toolbar and select the text tool. Let's type uh, anything you want. I, I will go with tube for this one. Let's increase the scale. Now we need to reset our anchor point. So Let's press Ctrl Alt Home on the keyboard, it will reset the anchor point. Now go to Align tool and let's align it to the middle, like that. If you don't see any Align tool, go to Windows and Align, okay? Now uh, we need to add a background, so right click, New, Solid. Let's go with bluish color for this one. Something like this, I will call this PG. Now we need to duplicate, so let's go to project panel and Ctrl D to duplicate. Now double click and this one I will call this typography. Let's scale this down, press S and scale this down like this. And for the BG, I will change it to black, so let's Ctrl Shift Y. It will bring the uh, solid properties again and we can change it to something something like darker like this let's hit ok now create a new composition i will call this text animation for this one i will go with a uh, pocket resolution Let's give it uh, 3840 and height to 2160. Okay. And for the frame rate, it's the same 24 and duration 10 seconds. Let's hit OK. Now uh, let's drop this, uh, drop our text plus order one. And for this, let's go to uh, Windows and effect and preset. Where is it? Oh, this one. And search for motion tile, motion tile effect. Let's double click and give uh, output with to 300. Like that. Now create a keyframe. Make sure you're in the plus frame and create a keyframe for the tile center and go to end of the comb and let's drag the x value like this like that now if we press the space bar as you can see it's animated and now let's control d to duplicate and go to project panel here we need to replace our text place order 2 so select this one and press auto on the keyboard and drag it to replace it now we can drag it down like that we can use the line tool for that it will snap to the bottom now we need to distribute this evenly so now let's press ctrl r to bring ruler now let's see let's set this ruler like that and we can press Ctrl R again, so it will remove. And now we can, now we can just snap to the tube comb there. This will, uh, as you can see, it will uh, evenly distribute now. Now we need to uh, invert this motion. So let's press U on the keyboard, go to end of the comb, and let's add this minus value. Just add minus and it will go to left side like this 
okay perfect we are halfway there and now create a, another new comp this will be our text wall okay so let's hit for this one uh, i will give a uh, height to 4600 same setting hit ok let's drag it there and now drop this text animation now add now go to effect and preset add motion type and set output uh, height to 300 now create a keyframe for the tie center now go to end of the comb list animate the y value like this for the loop uh, you need to remember this face frame so let's create a, a snap take a snapshot like this and go to end of the comb let's see list eyeball it like this okay it doesn't have to be perfect okay something like this would be great perfect now add a uh, transform effect go to background preset search for transform i will double click And for the skew, I will give minus 30. That's it. As you can see, it's animated like that. Now uh, create a new comp, and this will be again 2160. And for this one, let's call it tube. And yeah, it's okay. Now let's drag and drop this text wall here and I will add CC cylinder. Let's double click and for the uh, render I will give this outside okay. So it will only render uh, outside of the cube and for the uh, rotation I will give this rotation C to 660 so it will tilt like that. And for the light, we need to play with this light. I recommend you guys to play with these values. So it will, you guys can uh, get cool result. Around like that. Go to shading. And you can also play with this. Diffuse. I will quickly go to these settings. Okay. You guys can play with these values. Okay, perfect. That should be enough. Then now uh, we need to add an uh, inside one, right? So for that, create a new one. This will be our final. Let's call this tube typography comp. This will be our final uh, tube typography comp. So let's go with uh, 4K resolution 24 and 10 seconds. Let's drag it there. And now. Uh, Let's drop this tube comp right there. Okay. Now uh, we need to uh, flip this uh, text wall. So let's duplicate this text wall again. Double click. Now go to uh, effect control and here. Now here we can untick this uniform scaling. For this one I will uh, flip this scale width. So let's type minus 100. As you can see, now it's flipped. Now let's go to tube uh, typography comp. Here you can uh, drag and drop this text wall right there. Now again, go to a uh, tube effect and uh, effect control, and we can just copy this effect. So press Ctrl C to copy. Now go to uh, tube typography comp and and uh, control V to paste the effect on the uh, text wall too. Okay. Now set this render to inside. As you can see, it's not perfect. So let's go to rotation and we need to rotate this uh, Y value 180 degrees. 
so let's press 180 as you can see now it's perfect you guys also uh, play with these light settings now press T on your keyboard for the text wall home and it will bring uh, opacity properties and let's drop it down like that let's give it 50 so it will have depth like that okay perfect now uh, let's give some effect so let's right click new adjustment layer for this one I will add turbulence displays so let's call this turbulent now go to effect and preset search for turbulence displays that let's increase the uh, size to let's see 800 as you can see it's at bit of displacement for the effect you guys can animate the evolution but I'm not going to do that and let's add also grain new adjustment layer let's call this grain search for add grain effect and for this one uh, we will mood uh, let's give it final output as you can see I'm not sure it uh, show in the video, but it's at a nice uh, grain. You guys can reduce the size. I go. I will go with 1.5. It bit uh, render heavy, so be careful, guys. And let's go with quieter. And for the oh, okay. Let's add uh, another new adjustment layer. Let's give it blur and I will go with CC cross blur. Let's give it radius X to 50 and radius Y to 50 as well. And transfer mode, let's give it add. Okay, it's a nice uh, flow effect. Now make sure you uh, select this repeat edge pixel effect. So I will click it. Now go to uh, toolbar and select this ellipse tool. Let's add a mask like that. We need to invert it. So go to add and subtract and it will invert. Now press F. It will, uh, it will bring a masked feather effect. So let's increase this like that. Okay, perfect. Now if you press spacebar as you can see it's really nice effect you can also add a uh, lens distortion so let's add a new adjustment layer this this will be our lens lens distort so let's search for optic compensation effect let's double click and pick this reverse lens distortion and let's increase it around 50 maybe something around there and that's it for this tutorial and I hope you guys enjoyed if you did and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like button also a special thanks to all my patron supporters and I wish you guys in the next one have a great day peace